What are your dreams? Ask the conversation at work. You know the dreams of people around you at work. Because the most highly engaged people, people who are pursuing dreams, if they don't know what their dreams are, they begin to disengage. Same thing happens at church. Start the conversation. Start asking people, what are your dreams? What are you doing about it? I see Sammy looking up here at me thinking to yourself, I'm too old for that stuff. <laughs> Others of you thinking to yourself, I'm too young for that stuff. <laughs> Most people, they spend the first half of their life saying, I'm too young for that stuff. And the second half of their life saying, I'm too old for that stuff. <laughs> Thoreau was right, wasn't he? Most men and most women lead lives of quiet desperation. Don't say I'm too old and don't say I'm too young. Tiger Woods was three years old when he first broke 50 for nine holes of golf. Mozart was eight years old when he wrote his first symphony. Charles Dickens was 12 years old when he quit school to work in a factory. Charles Dickens, why? His father had been put in prison because he couldn't pay his debts. And Dickens needed money to get his father out of jail. Anne Frank, 13 years old when she began her diary. Ralph Waldo Emerson, 14 years old when he enrolled at Harvard. Paul McCartney, 15 years old when John Lennon invited him to join a band. Bill Gates, 19 years old when he co-founded Microsoft. Joe DiMaggio, Joe DiMaggio is 26 years old when he hit safely for 56 consecutive games without steroids. <laughs> yeah, he didn't need steroids. He had Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> William Shakespeare was 31 years old when he wrote Romeo and Juliet. Thomas Jefferson, 33 years old when he wrote the Declaration of Independence. Mother Teresa was 40 years old when she began her work in Calcutta. Important word, began. The danger is we say to ourselves, oh yeah, Mother Teresa, she spent her whole life down there in Calcutta with those poor people. Wrong. 40 years old. 40 years old. She dreamt a new dream. 40 years old, she started a new life. 40 years old, she stepped into the classroom of silence, sat down with her God and said, how can I help? When was the last time you stepped into the classroom of silence and, and sat down with your God and said, how can I help? Because in the next 20 years, she captured the imagination of the whole world. Do not sound too old or too young. Pablo Picasso was 55 years old when he painted Goethe and began a revolution in the arts. Don Perignon was 60 years old when he produced the first glass of champagne. Oscar Hammerstein was 64 years old when he wrote The Sound of Music. Winston Churchill was 65 years old when he became Britain's Prime Minister and picked a fight with Hitler. Nelson Mandela, 71 years old when he was released for more than 20 years in South African prison. Four years later, at the age of 75, Mandela was elected president of South Africa. Michelangelo, 72 years old, when he designed the dome of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. 24 years old, when he carved the Pieta. Benjamin Franklin, 79 years old, when he invented bifocals. And aren't you glad he did? <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright was 91 years old when he finished his work on the Guggenheim Museum. Dimitri Erdandis was 98 years old when he ran a marathon. Yeah, Dimitri Erdandis was 98 years old when he ran the Athens Marathon. And Arichi Uriah, Arichi Uriah was 100 years old when he climbed Mount Fuji. Do not say, I'm too old. Do not say I'm too young. 
Now is your time. When is your time? Now. God bless you. Good to be with you.